Starting a business can be daunting, like the decision of a lifetime. But what if it was possible to come up with a great idea, design a kick-ass brand, build a website, maybe even find your first couple of customers really fast, like in a weekend? In this book, I share the tips and tricks that made it possible for me to do just that, launching a pimped up porridge oat company called Awesome Oats in just two days. I started my first business at the age of 14 and over the past 12 years, I've grown from my grand's kitchen in Scotland to the shelves of supermarkets around the world. I learned a lot, mostly by doing things the wrong way and the long way, and I wanted to create a cheat sheet to help you do things much more quickly. I hope that the shortcuts that I've uncovered in this book help you on your own 48-hour startup adventure. Annyeonghaseyo, manaso pangasamida, chonin simo yodo, sali go, skotilande so ung, parese dohertila go hamnida. I'm the author of 48-hour startup, which is my guide to starting your own business based on my own experiences of turning my grandmother's jam recipes into a successful company. A lot of people have an idea for a business, but they're afraid of taking the first steps and giving it a shot. Maybe they imagine that it has to be the decision of a lifetime, that they have to quit work or quit school. But in the book, I wanted to show that it's possible to start something on a tiny scale and grow from there. In 48 Hour Startup, I undertook an experiment. I started my own business over just two days. I came up with an idea, I came up with a name, created a brand, set up a website, and even found my first couple of customers. And I've included all of the tips and tricks and advice for how you can do the same. My advice is to start small. You don't need to quit school or work. You don't even need to borrow a lot of money. Be sure to ask for advice. You'll be amazed at how happy and willing other people are to share what they've learned and give you some help along the way. But above all, listen to your customers. Your idea won't be perfect first time around, but if you make lots of little changes along the way, eventually you'll create something that people love. Everything in the book can be applied to starting a business anywhere, so definitely Budding entrepreneurs in Korea will find the tips and ideas in the book useful to starting a business in South Korea. Starting my own business has not only been a great adventure, but it's changed my life. And if you're thinking of starting your own business, then don't be afraid. If a 14-year-old boy can start a company, then so can you. Good luck.